Hello, my name is Paul Ostergaard. I am Professor of Energy Planning and I'm Head of the Energy Planning Program here at Oboe University. The Energy Planning Program, that's a two-year master program which you take after a bachelor's program. You typically come with a background in energy engineering or mechanical engineering or electrical engineering or basically any engineering program where you have had some energy contents in the program and you wish to study energy further but you want to take it to a further level. You don't want to stay with the nitty-gritty details of the energy technologies but you want to see the technologies in a wider, uh, in a wider sphere of the energy system. So in the energy planning program we look into how the energy system will evolve, how the different energy technologies should play a part of the evolution, uh, how to implement it, how the different energy technologies play together, for instance how wind turbine will play together with electric vehicles in the future, how electricity storages might be needed to integrate more fluctuating renewable energy sources into the energy system. But on the other hand we also look at how to implement the systems that is, how should the framework conditions be, what should the economic conditions be, what policies can hinder a certain development or what policies can uh, foster a certain development. So we try to approach energy systems from a very holistic point of view. So the students we, we have, they will be given a, a toolbox with various tools to apply to energy systems analysis, both from a technical viewpoint, we have some modeling tools for wind power assessment, for analysis of energy systems, for on a national scale we have other programs for the analysis of energy systems on a small scale. So we have some kind of engineering like tools. In addition to that we also have economic assessment, we have uh, analysis or, or tools to analyze how to implement energy technologies, to analyze what changes to to make in the framework conditions to, to advance a certain development that we see as uh, profitable for the energy system as a whole. A perfect match for our program in terms of students, that will be a student who has some prior knowledge of energy but who actually wants to see the larger picture of the energy system, who sees some of the problems that we ha have in the society, that we have diminishing resources, we have enhanced greenhouse effect, we have basically large environmental problems in the energy supply and who actually cares about trying to solve those. So that would be the perfect match. Uh, a student with engineering background in energy at some, to some degree and with an interest in trying to change the world that we are living in. The international students coming to Oliver University and our program in particular, they will be met with a program which is quite small compared to what they're usually used to. We have a program of 20 to 30 students every year, uh, an intake of 20 to 30 students every year. Um, we have a nice gender distribution in our program, maybe one third women, which is quite high for an engineering program. It's a very informal program. In Denmark, you're on a first name basis with everybody, all the teachers, all the students, they're on a first name basis in between them. So, and since it is a very small program, everybody knows one another and everybody knows your name when you're here. So you'll not just be a face in a large crowd, you will actually have a name and your supervisors and your teachers, they will know who you are. 50% of the time will be devoted for working in groups. So you'll typically work together with uh, four or five other students from, uh, from other countries or from Denmark. And you'll be working on a real life problem meaning uh, you together with your supervisor will find uh, a relevant topic where by applying whatever tools that you have learned during your studies you will you will learn additionally you will learn how to implement it you will see it in a context and we see that as a way of uh, increasing your learning um, we simply think that you learn more by solving practical problems rather than sitting in uh, classrooms and and listening to lecturers, however interesting they may be, of course.